decided to create my own SSD. I everybody right now is touting the Samsung portable SSD T5. Here's all the information for it. It's on the Samsung website. You can all look it up. I decided I was going to make my own a while back. And what I did was got the Samsung Evo, the 860. That's an also an SSD. And I also, with that, got this. This little converter will plug into the 860 Evo. And it's USB 3. So this goes pretty fast. Uh, comparable speeds, 550 megabytes per second. However, I wanted to top it off. So I did this, 3,500 mega, megabytes per second. So here's the unboxing on this. As I say, stick of gum. Should have pre planned the opening. So there we go. And I believe instructions underneath. So everything you need to know to put it together. So instead of just getting that little converter cable. I got an adapter. Each cable that you need, C to C, C to A, get little screws, and a little sticky tape. It's supposed to help with the cooling I guess or keep it from moving around information what to do and here we go Here's another one. Huh. Might be inside. There we go. That's why. Okay, let's get everything all out of the way. Simple setup. Just so, kind of like the old school Nintendos. There we go. And then you just set it down. Here we go, the screws. So we got that there. And now I gotta figure out how to get this in here. Or is it the other way? It must be the other way. Let me go grab a screwdriver. Always need these little ones. Flat end there. 
set that down. Give me a second. I hit it right the first time. I didn't realize it's got to slide past this. So what happens when you don't read directions and you just do it your own way? So now I got to figure out how to get this in there. Snug like a bug in a rug. So now, I am going to read the directions because I need to figure out where this goes. That's my understanding. It goes to the top. doesn't say so just stick this to the top I guess I put the screw in the right way and this is gonna go inside here Slide across. Let me take one of these. Put these away so I don't lose them. There we go. Voila, even faster drive than I had before. So next step will be, after I clean all this up, save this, you never know, you might need it for future use, will be to get this hooked up to the Xbox and uh, start doing some speed tests. I won't do any official speed tests, with numbers, um, I'm just going to try to time it out and see how fast it goes back and forth. All right, see you then.